Hi, it's Dr. Harif Rajapura here. I'm Director of Public Health at Blackpool Council. Just here to give you another update on uh, the coronavirus pandemic and how it's affecting our town here in Blackpool. Um, in terms of uh, numbers of cases, over the last two or three weeks, we have seen an increase in, in cases. Uh, and currently, as it stands, um, the current rates for the last week are that we're at 66 per 100,000. England average is, is about 60 and the northwest average is considerably higher than ours at 150. There are other areas uh, in Lancashire with considerably higher rates that are over 200 uh, per 100,000. So um, our rates have increased. It is, it is something that's concerning me. Um, so um, we need to all make sure we're doing everything to curb the spread of this uh, in infection. You will have heard of the local restrictions that are being um, that are being imp implemented. So we're asking everyone not to meet with other households. Just stick within your household or your support bubble and not to mix with uh, other people outside you, uh, of your household um, in the home or in, in the garden. You'll have also seen the national restrictions that have come into place, which affect Blackpool. So businesses selling food and drink must be closed by 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 10 p.m. And they must stay closed from 10 p.m. till 5 a.m., including takeaways. But delivery services can continue after 10 p.m. Licensed premises, uh, food and drink must be ordered from and served at a table. And to help contain the virus, uh, the government is again asking people where they can work from home, they should work from home. Um, so those are some of the things that have been implemented. And of course, you'll have seen the fines uh, that have come in for people who flout the law and don't self-isolate. Full details uh, of all the new restrictions and the latest announcements can be, can be found on our social media channels and at the website link at the end of this, this particular video. Um, I also wanted to mention that, uh, you know, people have had concerns with uh, tourism and the number of tourists in town and that, how that's uh, affecting the pandemic. And from all the data that I'm seeing, there is no direct link between the tourist industry and our and our increasing rates. Our increasing rates have been associated with with um, household transmission, uh, with elements of, of cases within care homes and and within schools. Um, so I want to want to assure you that we're taking that tourism aspect really seriously. And what what you'll see additionally this weekend um, is that we've got over sixty staff that are going to be in the town centre during the busy hours um, and this dedicated team team of staff will be patrolling the the town centre reminding people of the regulations and also our public protection officers will be part of that group and they'll be dropping into local businesses to ensure that they're following all the legislation and make sure that they're they're um, covid secure uh, the other thing i wanted to uh, bring to everyone's attention was the new nhs COVID-19 app, which was launched, launched last week, and there's several tools there to protect people, including contact tracing, checking into venues through the inbuilt QR code scanner, risk alerts by postcode, a symptom checker, uh, and a test booking facility. The app can be downloaded from the uh, Apple App Store uh, or the Google Play Store. Just search for the NHS COVID-19 app through your phone and um, you should be able to download that. Businesses can find information on our website on how to download the QR code that they need to display in their venue if they've not already done that. So there was a public statement put out from all the public, public health leads in Lancashire. So this is an important message that came out from all three directors of public health. And what we're urging people to do is please, please follow the guidance. If we work together, we avoid any draconian lockdown. The last thing we, we need is a, is a lockdown, a full lockdown like we had earlier this year. The reason we don't want to go down that route is because, of course, you know, it affects lots of other bits of society. It affects schools. It affects businesses. So we really want to avoid that. And the, the way we can avoid that is if we all follow the guidance. 
Hospital admissions have started to rise um, and we are seeing more people in, in hospital. And that usually is the pattern. When, when you start to see a rise in cases, there's a bit of a delay before the, the uh, hospital admissions rise. And then there's another delay before, unfortunately, a small proportion will, uh, will pass away. The, the last thing we want is for uh, our, our NHS and our care services to be, to be overwhelmed. So uh, the restrictions that are now in place um, may seem a bit draconian, but they're far from a true lockdown. What we need to do is stick to the rules. And if we do that over the coming weeks and months, then hopefully the, the sooner we can get out of this situation that we're in and we'll get the numbers down. So it's really important that everyone follows the, the, the national guidance around hands, face and space. So wash your hands regularly, particularly when you've been outside. Wear a face covering where it's required and stay two metres away from other people that you don't live with. And also, if you're symptomatic, please get a test and engage with the test track and trace system. If we if we all do this, then we can we can we can curb the spread of this infection uh, and we can get out of this situation that we're in. So please uh, continue to follow the guidance, um, follow the, the local restrictions that have come in. Details of all of these will be at the end of this this particular video. Uh, and please uh, stay safe and um, thank you once again for everything you're doing and I'll see you on the next one.